Hey Nintendo fans, I started a Nintendo 64 collection in 2021. Let me explain why I'm doing this. Also, I'm going to be showcasing my first N64 purchase for my collection in today's video. I live an adult life, I have responsibilities, and all of a sudden, I just wanted to collect something. As a child, like real young, like age 8 or so, I used to collect Dragon Ball Z action figures, and it was fun. There are a vast array of items to collect. Generally, you pick a series that you like. Pokemon, Dragon Ball Z, Funko Pops, Star Wars, and it goes on and on. I wanted to pick up on something that I enjoyed as a child, though, something of sentimental value, nostalgia, and could possibly have value. I did collect Dragon Ball Z action figures. I had about 71 figures. They were all loose because I played with them, and when I was done, I'd put them on the shelf on display. When people came over, other friends, adults, They'd go into my room and they would be drawn to my Dragon Ball Z collection. It was definitely a real talking point at dinner parties. I was a real Chad. You get your girl to get into your room and you tell her to go ahead and touch that shirtless Goku with his abs showing more buff than you are. See, you were a shame to showcase your Dragon Ball Z action figures. But I'm a stud. Being more serious, Dragon Ball Z is still popular, or has become popular again today. Dragon Ball Super is a new TV series. I believe a new season is coming out. But I'm not involved with Dragon Ball Z in the new series like I was as a child. As I got older, around the age of 14, I sold off all my toys and was more focused on driving and I don't have an interest today. So I'm actually on YouTube and I'm looking for some items, Pokemon cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Dragon Ball Z, just going around seeing if anything catches my interest and while watching YouTube I come across video game collections. They're pretty cool. The first few videos I see are just major collections, PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo. Overwhelming. Then I landed on this new community. It was a Nintendo community where collectors were showcasing their collection on YouTube. It was all style, no clash. And I was like, I like that. One channel that really did it for me was Nintendo Collecting. He produced a three-hour video tour for 2020 that I was watching, showcasing his whole collection. It looks like a complete collection, just all Nintendo, all on display. And I, it's, it's NES, Super Nintendo, N64, GameCube, Wii, Wii U, Switch, and I'm just blown away, but not overwhelmed because I am familiar with the product. And... I was skipping around and I came across the N64 collection and I knew that was it. I was going to start a N64 collection. This is why I'm going to start an N64 collection. First off, the enjoyment. The games are classics for me. Mario, Mario Kart, Mario Party, The Legend of Zelda, Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong Racing, all these games. I enjoyed and it wasn't the best power system but the games were fun and memorable the second reason I love the brand Nintendo I'm a fanboy you could say and people have been Nintendo fanboys for decades and it's been improving there were exclusive titles to the N64 I love seeing on the N64 box only for Nintendo. Luigi is more inclusive 
so there's character development finally in the 90s where the hell was luigi the branding for the switch will be iconic for years to come it kind of reminds me of apple getting into the process of collecting n64 games is still possible within reason with a small budget you can collect loose games you can even collect games in the boxes for a lesser value and the final point that really got me was he started explaining prices of some of these games because he had a really good collection good quality been doing it for decades the displays were amazing but the values of the games have been increasing over the last few years like recent years and I'm like I need to get these now because they're gonna be gone I'm so excited to show you guys the first purchase for my collection we're gonna get to it real soon with establishing my collection I was looking online to see what I wanted to display and I wanted games with their authentic boxes GameStop stopped selling new N64 games in 2011 or 2012 I never saved the boxes but I enjoy the display what is complete in the box for me and an additional why as to why I'm collecting and let's go over that why the value of the games with the box they aren't making these boxes anymore officially they're gonna disappear they're gonna get worn they're just lost in the fire they're just cardboard so the boxes are becoming rare I can't find them at thrift stores rarely find them at retro gaming stores with the boxes it's speculative but I'm looking at the value of the game with the box for my money. I'm collecting, but I'm also speculatively investing for 10 years, maybe 20. I'm not going to live forever. I'm going to sell these one day, and I hope to make a profit. Also, I'm buying about one game a week in the box to showcase for this channel, and it's pretty hefty. So what is complete in the box for me? It's that's standard, the box, the game cartridge, the manual, consumer info, and an insert. The condition for the box and the game for me that I want in my collection is that I want it to be in a like new condition. There are collections where people have the games in the box, factory sealed, complete all 296 games I can't do that too expensive this is the next step down like new so there's used they're still used these boxes and games are old 20 plus years really I can only get these on eBay and sometimes at retro stores which I have picked some up already at a retro store future episodes and also in my collection I can't do all the games in the box too much money again so I'm only sticking with the titles that I like and enjoy there'll be a few oddities in my collection outside from the main ex exclusive titles and I'm gonna pick up a few titles that I've never played personally but have heard from online are good games so what is like new for me it can't be torn worn Missing like images that are torn off, no stains, no major creases in the boxes. When I go to sell, I'm looking for a buyer that wants these games in a really good condition. So I got my Nintendo 64 in 1998, guys. Two years after the system was released, just about. I wanted the system for a different game, which I did get. And this game that I got here... Not this exact one, but I did get a copy of this title back in 1998 on Christmas Day from my aunt because her boys liked this game. And she saw that I would like this game and I had never played this series and it ended up being my favorite game and it was the game of the year for 1998. We're looking at the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. But no, not just any standard edition 
of The Legend of Zelda for N64, but the collector's edition. And when I saw the picture in the description on eBay for this game, it said that it was still had a gloss on its cover, and it does. And it's not a real sticky gloss, like a reproduced box. It feels authentic. Um, there are just a few hairline scratches, and they do show up in lighting. They don't show up on the camera too well. Uh, very weird. And there is damage and wear on this box. I'll do a little rotation on the light. So you might see some hairline scratches when you do a rotation. But you're looking at pictures when you're buying these online. And this is a title I don't think I'd ever be able to find at a store. And I paid good money. And this is the collector's edition. So the cartridge is gold. It's complete in the box. And it does have a crease at the top. And I paid over $300 for this. And that's like, whoa. But you can't find them for less than $300 in this condition. And as you can see, only for Nintendo 64. And it says Collector's Edition here. And you look over here. And this is actually where it was probably opened the most. So that's where the Chris probably started. He probably put the game back in its box often. And people would play these like, like crazy. It was Game of the Year for a reason. And we had never seen anything like this. Um, dog tags have a little worn on them. The tabs for closing. This one has a little bit of peeling in the corner. Uh, same on the other sides. And I'm okay with really most of my boxes having worn on the corners but for most of my collection i'm not gonna buy you know games with creases in them this is still for the box it's in a very good condition for what's out there there is a little bit of damage on the bottom here and uh it's kind of got sticky that came off actually which is cool but, uh, yeah, you could just see, like, a little bit of maybe peeling. And I'm not going to, like, rub any of that off. It might be, like, a tape residue. And then on the back, there's a little bit of maybe peeling on the very, very bottom. You might not be able to see it on the camera. Um, it's literally, I can see it here. It's like a, just a little bit of, like the paint of the box came off. But other than that, then you can't really see it on camera. And what I love about displaying these is just the description on the, of the game. I love the pictures on the back that they used to advertise. And um, I don't know if you guys want to see the manual and inserts. I'm only going to pull this out once, and then it's going to be sealed. I'm probably going to buy an emulator <laughs> to play these games. I don't want to put these in my system. Um, so, the game is in a like-new condition. And so this version is 1.0. Different versions came out. You got your standard gray cartridge. This is in gold. Fine details. The image is centered, printed nice, no defects that I can see with my eye, not even um, a lot of scratches on the cart. And it said online in the description that the person selling this claimed this was the most immaculate Zelda cartridge he had seen in his lifetime. Looks good on the back, just a real good paint job. And I believe it's very authentic. Um, and then it does come with everything. I'm sure you might want to just see the insert. It's just Nintendo Power. You know, they try to get you to buy their magazine. I had these figures here, this Link and this Zelda. I did buy that. I don't have these anymore. They cost me seven bucks at the time. And then they are trying to sell their CD. Um, this manual or insert is in 
a like new condition in my opinion no bends no bolts very careful the consumer information this had never been opened like new condition the manual I give it a, a very good condition it's got some like uh, creases here a little bit of like maybe like a stain on the bottom there of, kind of by the sword to uh, the back a little bit worn but I can live with a very good manual um, some cresses at the bottom there all the pages exist inside the manual the pages are in really good condition as well so I think down the road 10 years from now there is a good possibility I'd be able to sell this game maybe for a grand maybe two grand if I'm lucky if you had a a, uh, an actual like new box you definitely could get maybe five thousand dollars for this in ten years right now in a like new condition it was it was about a grand <laughs> right now and uh, to find good conditions now that people are picking this up are gonna become more rare um, I bought this as soon as possible because it was my favorite game game and I do expect the value to actually increase next year and the year after guys that's our video for today let me block the view I don't want you to see what the next purchase is but we've got another purchase coming up soon next week thank you guys for checking out my channel here check out Nintendo collection or Nintendo collecting I've left a link in the description so you can see his videos he's got a really extensive so with my series and my channel I'm just beginning my collection so you're on a journey and I'm only buying about 30 games possibly uh, we'll see how things go and I'm very excited to have started this channel like subscribe subscribe so you can join me on my journey and my collection and let's build a community